nobody do like this in the house. Sunday service, don't get nervous. Rap with the purpose, not just for service. It took four delays, two leaks, one cancellation, and a slew of controversy. But what else do we expect from a new Kanye album? Kanye is just truly an uh, innovator uh, and just taking the, you know, the level up to the next level. And so it's just great for me to come in and really kind of put his sample ideas to a choir. What you don't understand, pray about. Amen. I didn't have a lot to say. I had a a lot to learn. Something like I am a god. Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A god. As he puts it himself, in 2013, Kanye had a lot to learn, and over the six-year learning process, he's gone in so many different directions, somehow eventually ending up in this place of spirituality, claiming that he's done with secular music, and creating a fully non-explicit gospel hip-hop album. So how exactly did he get from Jesus to Jesus as King? Welcome to the Explain series. It's been a while, but that's the question I'll try to answer right now, both by breaking down the tracks on the project and delving into some of the more recent interviews he's given surrounding Jesus as King's release. Uh, yeah, that was this journey of this album. You know, there was times where this time was where I was <laughs> asking people to not have premarital sex while they were working on the album. Mm -hmm. There was a time when the Medici family and all the greatest artists did work for the church, and now it seems like all the best designs and everything have this adult edge to it. And I have a family, I have four children, I've been married for five years, and the perspective... <laughs> because you asked me a question last year, did, uh, you know, did having a daughter uh, change my life? And I've completely turned around from what my perspective was last year to where it is now. Kanye makes it really clear that his efforts to really focus more on religion come from a standpoint of wanting to be there for his family, wanting to set an example for his daughters. But it's also Kanye, so we know there's a little bit in there about himself. And I think the part that's about himself is the part that's proving to others that there's nothing that can stop him. And that idea that it's because of God that he could go through being canceled, he could go through being hospitalized, he could go through a car accident, and he could still be standing in front of you and making his art and still reaching the audience he's always had. Bro, I love y'all, man. And I love me. And I love Christ. And y'all should love to see this. I'm not mad, I ain't gonna tell y'all what y'all should do. I'm just doing what I do. If you love it, then cool. If y'all wanna rap me, it ain't gonna make a difference, honestly. I done been killed so many times on social media, and I'm still here. I'm still talking. Look at me. And let's see how this really plays out on his album itself. One of the biggest challenges that he faced in the past year was his altercations with Drake, specifically claims that Drake was out to send a hit on him, trying to hurt him and his family. But he ends all his responses, he ends his Twitter rant by saying, perhaps I should have been more like water today. It's that purity that attracts him about water. And he knows that that purity isn't enough to avoid all challenges. There'll still be storms. They'll still be crashing down like water. But the love is going to get them through it all. Even when we crash like water. So his first idea was to want to help us to do something. 